Hello guys, in this video we are going to talk about the curve fitting in Python as well as uh, versus this using Origin Pro. Origin Pro is a software which is quite handy in data visualization and in, in fact we can fit curves and many other things. So in this video we are going to see both techniques and see which is faster or which is even better. So like for curve fitting what we actually have that we have a particular curve or a particular data. Let's say this is my x data. So I am in now Google Colab uh, using Python. So I have imported the necessary libraries and let's say we have this particular uh, data. So this is my x data, x axis data, very simple. And also we can li write lin space and use that uh, function. However, I for simplicity I have taken it, uh, right, written it whole. So for x y data we have this and you can see both our data are of 26 units. So we have x and y data so we can definitely plot it easily. So this is what we have for our curve and now uh, using these points okay we need to fit another curve over it okay and that is somehow little tricky because if you try to fit any curve over it some deviations are there and that's why these computational tools are really handy to fit them rather than manually or using excel so we have these two data we plot them now we need to define the curve that we want to fit so in our case this is my equation okay so this is the new particular curve that I would like to fit. So this is a by exponential function and it is uh, it will get you this fit y. Fit y is my variable that uh, is the fitted value of the y. So I put the x over here that x is t here so that uh, we can differentiate between x and t. So t is for the fitted one, the one which I will fit. Okay. So both are same, the x axis would be same. Just the y axis we need the points to lie just on this curve. So my fit y should actually be almost equal to the, the y value we have over here. Okay. So fit y would come from this whereas these are just points that I have in my data. So for that I have defined this fit y as this function okay. and I have taken these values because a, tau1, b and tau2 are constant. These are the different parameters that actually can change so if they change so the model would actually change okay and these are to be actually optimized and for the t data t is my simple x data so we will use this skypy dot optimize and import from their curve fit what is it we can actually go to this skypy docs here we can see the optimization and root finding so what does it really do is there are various uh, methods but we need the curve fitting method for now so this curve fitting method you can even go up here and look for um, detailed understanding but ma mainly it has a model okay the curve that we want to fit the x data uh, and the y data and the other thing is this p naught and the rest of the thing is just like this p naught is uh, i think it is important because here we need to put some the parameters value okay so what we are doing here is that we have these four parameters a tau 1 tau v tau 2 and we need to optimize them in a way so that our curves fit over the uh, data curve, this raw raw curve. So what we just do is we just call this function curve fit and the curve that we want to fit that's this one. So curve to fit, we put this that's our really uh, model or the curve that we want to fit. The x data that uh, we took earlier and the y data and these are important. Okay, These are the initial starting parameters. You can play with them and we will also see how to play with them in origin but so yes so these are the parameters value for a tau 1 b tau 2 these are these the four values we need for this curve to perform with and you can give anything what curve it will do it will try to calculate the like the difference the residuals minimize them and even change these values and finally find a fit so that it also that so this params is actually these values what are these values that we finally get because we need these values everything else we can actually find out if we have these values we can put them over here we already have our t t is the x data only so we can get our fit y so what is happening we use the curve fit method we put this we get these values as params the optimized ones we put these params over here and the x data here so we get this whole equation and this is actually my fit y so I get the y axis co coordinates. So what we do is finally getting these params. So we put these parameters you can even params is in uh, like array so you can put params uh, like this 
params 0 comma params 1 but that is kind of a long way so I have put this asterisk sign to actually incorporate all these values a tau 1 tau b tau 2 because these are in this manner only and then we put this x value for my t and finally here x would be there a tau 1 b tau 2 from the params and we will get our fit y so we get our fit y so now we have the y data and now let us plot this so if we plot this x like let me show you so we plot the fit y and this using x and params uh, this fit y versus x and we get a kind of the same data uh, same curve so now let's see what was our original curve that's for x and y so we put a scatter plot here to actually find out the difference so you see it really fits well let's now try this whole thing in origin lab so we need the x data and y data yeah so here we have that the whole x and y data now let me just uh, minimize this maximize this so this is my data for simple plotting we can take this whole thing and we can go to plot and let's say we take this scatter plot and this is kind of my scatter plot you don't want this uh, you want something else so we can actually take uh, a, a line and symbol plot and you see this is kind of the curve now we want to fit the data to the equation so what we can do is we can go to my tools and fitting function builder so this is what the fitting function would be so now create a new function next uh, we have this expression this will be my uh, curve fit function and this would be an expression uh, okay yeah my independent values are t actually and this and the parameters are this so my parameters are a tau 1 tau 2 let's copy that and it is y it is then and then next so these are like the initial values you can change over here or let it decide by yours itself uh, let's take this okay uh, okay let's copy this equation and the np is not there so we are going to delete that yeah i think let's see check for t1 okay so next and finish yeah so we have now made the uh, fun curve uh, function to fit so now let's fit over it so for analysis we need to go to fitting and here we need to fit a non-linear curve so let's open the dialog box and here we have this and you can take some original functions like this but for our user defined and the function is curve fit okay the function is loaded and now what we need to do is actually fit it so see like this is kind of it tries to fit let me show you it again and like it gives me the parameter values like what is the value of tau tau values what are the different parameters and how many points or how many degrees of freedom are there reduce size square fit status this is kind of this uh, and it gives me a kind of a residual how much residual with time was there so let's let's even try to like so you can even try this skypy.optimize in the python and it can fit and you can actually get the data of the different parameters values and see if the fitting is well or you can even use origin lab so that you get to know uh, what is it okay and here you can even open the excel so both ways you can do so thank you guys this is for the curve fitting and meet you in the next video thank you